Let's try the new lamp. What? What did you do? What happened? Did you plug it in? Oh, well. You gotta, you gotta go see go everybody tomorrow. We drove way out in the country here to buy brake parts off of a guy called the Death Dealer. So, <laughs> why? Well, let's find out. Ha! My friend Kyle, uh, Agent 100013, uh, found uh, and salvaged this abandoned boogie van. <laughs> Let's go check it out. Pretty exciting. Kyle, you're a madman. Thank you. Let's have a look. Well, that has never been more appropriate, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it sounds terrific. It's a car piece rebuilt for sure. Wow, look at the awesome mural, man. Holy. There's no more appropriate owner for this. <laughs> no date on it, but it does have a signature. And I think this paint job was probably 1980-ish. Yeah. This is what year? Like, sorry, I asked you already. This 77? Is 77. 77. Yeah. Round light still. Fantastic. And this was abandoned? Well, it was. It was on, like, was on just. A, an old farmstead. Unreal. And I bought it off the owner of the property. And somebody had left it there? Yeah, the huh. previous tenants had left a whole bunch of stuff there. Really? Including the death dealer? Yeah. So what is it, a 360? Can you see anything? Well, I mean, right? Look at that old puppy, eh? I love Clarion it. Clarion with the EQ. It stays. That stays for sure, man, yeah. Custom doors, is the interior green as well? Yeah, the Color blind guy, too, yeah. yeah. Okay. Green with like, a, like an olive goldy green. <laughs> Sunroof? That Spotlights. Killed the overhead vinyl. Oh man, we're gonna have some parties, eh? Starting right now. <laughs> like you could do all the repairs without touching the mural. Yeah. So that's cool. Oh, look at these. You're a madman. Oh, I love the blinds. There was the, in the front, it had it as a partition too, to separate the back. Well, Kim must be just thrilled. All over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> just a lady. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm so happy to see the death dealer parked in the driveway. I think she was more stumped that it was running so quickly. Yeah, uh, she sent me that video. She's like, call the police. <laughs> <laughs> that is intense. What did you put on for wheels, Kyle? Those are street van wheels. Street van yeah, Dodge factory. factory. Yeah, factory Dodge street van wheels. Oh, well, you saved one here, that's for sure. This thing's pretty solid. It's not terrible. Yeah, it's not, like, it's usable, it's right? It's yeah, but you're on the road, right? You're on the road, and that's what's important. The grill is mint. The rack has what? I've never seen the ra a rack with these pedestals. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not in person. So that's not a factory Dodge thing? Well, that would be aftermarket. Yeah, okay. Oh, look at those. Superior performance, the 500, green metal flake. Well, yeah. that couldn't be a more, did you just buy that or nope. did you have it? No, I got this from my buddy Ryan. Oh, it was Destiny. He did some trading, horse trading, some Frank Rosetta artwork. Huh? He was like a, a fantasy artist. Really? Yeah. Oh, so this is all, I had no idea. I thought this was completely made up. Oh, that is awesome. And his artwork ended up on lots of different Molly Hatchet albums. Yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. it looks like. It looks like what well, we talked about for flirting with disaster. Yes. yes. And I'm like, that would be a great mural. It's the same guy. Yeah. That's unreal. That is so cool. So do the girls like it? Well, the kids love kids it. Love it eh? Kids love it, eh? That's awesome. Yeah. Are you gonna them, take them to school? And well, it? I took them up to the store to get uh, some drinks and some pepperoni earlier. Oh really? Oh, that's so. Cool. I'm so happy you haven't played it. That is great, and it's not. And you can use it every day. You should have seen the woman's face. This woman in the photo is giving us the stink guy, and I'm pretty sure she wrote down the plate. Because <laughs> you got two girls in it. Oh man, that's funny. And you're like, no, they're my kids. Honest. <laughs> they 
behind the van and she's sitting there staring at it and then she pulls up this pen and paper and starts writing Oh my god, that's funny. That's funny. I hate to say it, Kyle, it's a little quiet. Well, that'll be changed. I have side pipes. Too. Have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, you mentioned those. Side pipes, you've got side pipes and orange lights. Yeah, I got louvers for the back. Tires the could be a little bigger, buddy. They're going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tight. It can't, you know, one man's trash, eh? Like, blows me away. Yeah. I mean, could not have found a better owner. Dave sent me pictures of it on from off the internet, and I fell in love. Yeah, yeah. I had to have it. Yeah. No, well, you looked pretty happy in your picture of you buying it. I'll tell you that. Somebody was serious when they put this together, eh? I think it's nicely done. It's. It not is. It's not even top really top tacky. It's, it's very great. camping. It's, it's just that it's got the well. sweet yellow, red, orange lights that are death. Yeah. This is fantastic. Well, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. Yeah, and all this will just, I mean, it's already clean. Hardly needs anything. Now, these just push shut. Yeah, so this. Push and then you push like up, right? Yeah, just pull and you push it in. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Fits yeah. nice. Close the just clicks. Yeah. It's not even running hot or nothing. Oh, it runs awesome. Yeah, some, so you're gonna take the running boards off and oh, replace them are, with pipes? Those are coming off. Those are yeah. Um, maybe we should go around the block. Okay, we gotta drive to Death Dealer. We'll go deal some death. It's Saturday after all. <laughs> Let's fire it up. Sweet. Oil pressure, check. Gas, a little bit. Temp sender, non existent. How's it feel to be in the captain's chair, eh? No kidding. These are comfy. They're not bad. Are they factory Dodge van or are, or are these out of like a Challenger or something? No, I they're, think they're truck. Yes, yeah. they got armor. And they swivel. Oh, man. Trades with 200, so that's mm -hmm. three quarter ton. Brakes are perfect. Got some signals. Oh, you got it all working, man. Oh. Is this electronic ignition? Yeah. It would be in this yep. year, right? Oh, I haven't driven one of these in forever, man. They're hilarious. Oh, the kids must just think you're super Oh, they mad, think man. it's fantastic. They were sitting around the table with their snacks and yeah. <laughs> drinking their drinks when we were coming back. They thought it was pretty great. Don't cut off the death dealer. It doesn't go well for you. Well, what better vehicle for the times, buddy? <laughs> if you work at an auto parts store, there's nothing here that's going to challenge you at all. No. Really. Not like Renault brake rotors. Well, we got you some. Yeah, I know. I thought it was pretty awesome we could get you La rotors. Well, I couldn't believe it. The thing is, like so many cars, all that stuff is subcontracted. Like Renault didn't make their own brakes. They Absolutely bought German not. brakes. So, and that means that they interchange with something. This with the grill change. Yeah was 71 through 78 and then in 78 they were had the rectangle tail lights yeah like the 79 and up yeah okay yeah, i cannot wait to have boogie van day and we'll all go out just cruising well that'll be awesome right we got so many vans now vans are best <laughs> oh there we go here's you Oh, look at that. What a shit storm. Man, we got some other projects going on here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> You're done, buddy. <laughs> you want me to push? No. Let's see what Kyle's got in the tickle trunk for toys here. Don't mind the mess. Holy. You got more mags than anybody I know. Another bunch stacked up over there, too. Oh, my. You got some old kind of Plymouth automobile in here, Kyle. It's a shelf. <laughs> it's a bit of a shelf. Oh man, you're gonna have a lot of fun with this baby. It's so great. You got somewhere to put all this shit now. Yes. Don't you have louvers too? The louvers are up there. I just gotta paint them black. See them the, all yeah, those came blocks. from my pile of shit. Yeah. So did the front. And the flare. The are they Dodge? Yeah, those are Dodge. Oh. Those are that series of B van flares. So you need rears then? Yeah, I need rears. Okay. It looks like finding a steering wheel is not going to be a problem. I think I found one. That green. Yeah, one the one that's in there is awesome. And it keeps going. You like those tough wheels, eh? You got three of them. Oh, man. These, these, what is the deal? Those Holy are brand cow. New. Brand new. Whoa. 
Are they Chev or what? Those are five on four and three quarter Chevy. Wow, are they tens? <laughs> two te I have three tens and two eights, and they're all brand new. Oh wow! Those, those are, are gorgeous. Those will go on the Camaro eventually. Secondary van project there. You may remember this van from such Will It Run episodes as Will This Van Run? <laughs> what are these? Rebel Machine Wheels. Rebel Machine? Where did Rebel you find these? Wheels. Look at those tires. E6015s. Polyglass. Look at the flake on them. They're just so awesome. Is this how they were is delivered? That, this is how they would have been from factory. Look at the flake. American Motors. Holy and the, cow. And the cap is rad too. Yeah. And you have a pair. Yeah, I got a pair. I wish I had a set. Yeah. Wow. Somebody's looking for those, I can tell you that. If I had a set, I could put them on something. I love the tires. The tires are awesome. The tires are what I saw first. Yeah. Like, the wheels are just a bonus, and they're cool, too. Do you think? Those are probably legit. They are legit. They're legit, like, 50-year-old tires. Really special uh, classic tire here. E6015 Polyglass GT. Good years. On what year, Kyle? 1969, 70? 70, 71. 70, 71 AMC Rebel machine. What a cool find. And it looks like the trim ring and center cap are special to this wheel, too. They are. Man, that is a rare piece. Sorry about the shadow. Kyle has the most amazing collection of toys and models, and this, he just informed me, is the Charger concept car. Of course, I recognize it, but I couldn't put a face on it. That is really cool. You could sell some of this stuff and buy a real GT40, buddy. I wouldn't fit in a car like that. Holy <laughs> Christ. I don't think they make a shoe. Wow. Oh, the old AFX set. Yeah, we had that one. Right on. Where did you find that? Where do you find this stuff, man? That's insane. You got the rarest junk sitting outside in the rain. Snow. <laughs> Crazy. Well, let's put this motor together one of these days and get this guy on the road, too. That is hopefully the, one of the winter's tasks. Yeah, well, you got a 440 here. Yeah. And as I recall, this was a sound engine. And yeah, that it ran. Yeah, it's awesome. I have everything to put it together. Yeah, it's got a nice headliner. Is that a GTX wheel or what? Yeah. It needs to move because otherwise they're shelves. That's right on. Let's go check on the Menace. It's always such a treat to visit the Kyle collection. Okay, I think it's time to swap the brake rotors on the R5. And I need to replace the... Uh, fender liner now that the uh, welding and reassembly is mostly finished. So let's get at it. it takes 40% less time to take the wheel off of an R5. You gotta pull these little pins and then we'll push these sliders out and that will uh, allow us to pull the business end of the caliper off, then we're going to take the mount off, then we're going to take the axle off, or detach it, then we're going to beat this whole assembly out this way, swap this guy, and then the reverse. So, pretty simple. I'll rejoin this once it's disassembled. We got the caliper stowed out of the way. I'm just going to give that a light tidy, check it out. I'm a little out of breath because I had to uh, smash the rotor off with a hammer. And what's going on in here? Looks like everything is fine. That is just grease. Yeah. Everything there looks basically new. So I'm going to make it my goal. Quickly clean that. I'm going to put this back together as quickly as I can. Oh, and something just fell off. Well, now this has to be cleaned. It's like a spacer for a seal to run on, maybe. Decide to blow the passenger side caliper off and have a look inside. It was seizing on the rotor and nothing really terribly wrong. I think it was just dirty. It's a little gummed up here. And there's a little tiny bit of corrosion there. So I'm gonna hit this all a little scotch bright and 1500 grit and then we're gonna clean everything. Uh, make sure that everything is intact and then we'll put her back together and see if it's any better uh, they are not available new okay well I broke the bleeder screw off on the uh, Renault 5 and then I wasted most of a day trying to um, drill it out and weld nuts to it and I got an easy out in it and then I broke that off and I wasted the rest of the day trying to get the easy out and any anything out so in the end I just 
gave it to Gary. I just gave up. I just threw it at him and said, see what happens. We did the big one. The big and which one was that? That was, uh, turned out to be M10 by one. M10 by one. <laughs> nice. I had a tap. And you had it. Oh, how much sweeter could it be? And, uh, Man, so, that is mint. I went with that the bigger was, uh, one because it turned was, out, once I broke through, yeah, I, we were nowhere in line. The hole that was in the bottom was off center. That bigger one allowed me to make that hole bigger. Yeah, and then we so got it. So now it's concentric with Oh, with nice. Thread, so okay. Whew, close one. And, well, that, I mean, seriously, that was going to be three, four weeks away, so. Yeah. Well played, sir. Well played. Man, I've never been so happy. Oh, and you fixed my torture. Uh, <laughs> that's nice. I had really made a mess of that. That's great. It's got more uh, thread engagement now than did when it was new. Yeah. Well, and it's Good. the same size as that one, so. Yeah. Whatever. That's awesome. Thanks, man. All these saved. Look at all this. Yeah, right? Man, you really went oversized. <laughs> <laughs> That was a deal breaker because you can't put new hoses and brakes on and then not bleed them. So that was just welded though. There was nothing I could have done. Hey, eh? it was yeah, not coming out. It was not coming out. It wasn't me. The other side came out like just, just like it should. So I don't know. Maybe that. Oh, aluminum, aluminum caliper with steel parts in. It's going to happen. Whew. Sweet. Thanks, man. And let's put her back together. Saving the day. Now you saved the day like three times in this car. Do you just really like it or? I do actually. <laughs> I want you to win. Well, yeah. I don't know. If, it, if we did a four wheel drive conversion, I'd win. That's true. That's okay, true. what am I doing? Uh, Al's on the Rover. I'm on the, okay, I gotta get it right. Last time I called. This one's a P5. I'm on the R5. There you go, buddy. Uh, here we have, I pulled the calipers off the Renault. There, uh, well, as you can, I think we went over why because they were stuck. This one wasn't as bad, but it still needs to be reconditioned. This one I spent some time on yesterday, and uh, it was just all this corrosion in here. And all it takes is a couple of thou, and that thing will not retract. And then the brakes drag. Clean that up, leaving the seal, leaving everything. It's really there's no no damage. Same here, just little bit of corrosion and dirty and seized up so gonna clean that up pistons are really really nice just had that little bit of crud on them a couple of thou it's all it takes this one will clean up it's got some kind of varnish on it here that seems to have built up so uh, yeah not as bad as the other one so let's get these let's get them tidied up weird the calipers are different so somebody's replaced one at one time, but I checked the bores are the same, so they'll function the same. They're just different brands for the same car. Kind of weird. You're only filming this in case it doesn't work. Isn't that the whole point? That's all anyone wants to see. Nobody wants to see success. Oops. You can find success anywhere. Success. Is it's easy, easy to edit out failure to show success. That's but a right. real rare caught on tape failure. <laughs> Coming up. Should have painted those calipers red. <laughs> Our other oh, channel. We can tight already. Oh yeah, they just stop. Jesus. Okay. So that is in like Flynn. But it will not go by hand. Tonight's light buzz enterprise is the washer pump for the Lacar. Check out the sweet Renault set, hey? Sweet. Rather than just go buy one, we thought, let's uh, let's see what's actually in these things probably repairable and probably of higher quality than anything you could buy to take its place. Or maybe I'm wrong. We'll 
let's rip into it. Steven's conscripted for light buzz again. Whoops, and something just fell over. How are you feeling about tonight's job? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. I, I am liking that it's a SEV Marshall. Right, I think it's worth, That's like, real worth nice, a repair. That's a real nice unit to crack into. So I think we're. this is just going to be like the uh, actual pump portion of it. Right. I did get it to grunt once. It kind of went right and then Yeah, it, it kind of so seems to... Seems like an electrical contact issue to me. You're going to have to get your uh, paint pen back out here. Oh, are you destroying it. the factory inspection dabs? Yeah, yeah, we need to put the factory inspection dabs back on here. That's the name of the game. Concourse. And? Right, and? And does it... Oh, oh. Does it all come apart? Uh, that's the pump portion, I take it. Hey, hey, god damn. You wrecked the last episode of Light Buzz there, you menace. With your ripping everything up. Motor seems to be okay. Yeah. Seems to feel okay. Right. Maybe a little draggy. Is there an impeller in this? Or like that's, what that's what I think that is. So... Uh, Looks like bleak outlook on the washer pump rebuild. Yeah, so this is just like an inspection cover. Right. And this is actually the pumping element uh, that's turned to... That's... Kinda so just, the motor's probably okay. Yeah, the motor seems fine, but this... This uh, is dust. This is kind of just dust. This yeah. is like a water pump in, a, in an outboard motor. Yeah. So you know if Gary okay. could just whistle something up like that... Out of rubber. Out of mm, rubber. Yeah. But, well, that's too, uh, too bad. That is not moving any kind of fluids anymore. That's just poopy. Okay, well, that's too bad. If it's, uh, it was worth a try. It was worth a try. We'll, uh, if anybody's got a parts one, one you got one of these sitting around in your backyard with the wheels off, you know, you got extra, you have a drawer. if you have a drawer of pumps that are on blocks, just give us a jingle. Well, that's a terminal fail. Yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty garbage. Well, it's not like it's not like we're really gonna come across a uh, one of these for parts. So, oh, but wait, <laughs> or are we? Dun dun dun! There, of all the things to find in the bin of leftover stuff, uh, it's similar anyway. This is a this is out of a. I think it's one from the one of the SMs. So but this is a what a trico trico. Yeah. So let's so, see if we can well, part out the trico to part, see we're gonna the, part uh, the Marshall. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the, the little r rubber you know, piece. It's, because just using this one instead would be too easy. Yeah. So let's see if we can cobble it back together. You're up. I'm up. This is light buzz work. Light buzz time. Extracting the little rubber wheel. Oh, there we go. Came out, right? Came out. There's a little drive leaf in there. Did you get that? Yep, I pulled that out already. So, we're going to put our pump housing back on. Yeah. They're still pliable. Yeah, well, don't push too hard. Does it fit? Uh, it will. Trying to trying to line it up and getting the little drive plate in there. There you go. All right. Well, then there's a top plate. Well, let's just see a what little more. If it gets this thing through an inspection. Highly productive time. So we got to make sure to keep all the rest of this for parts for when any other of the rest of this fails. That's so right. when the motor goes, then you'll have yeah, a spare motor. Yeah, because you guy. wouldn't want to just swap over to the different <laughs> pump. I did a motor swap on my Lacar. There, done. Now we just got to see if it actually works, or if it just goes meh, like the last one did. Yeah, it, it just piles just all meh. up and turns to garbage again. But I give it a better chance than, uh, than this thing for working. Okay. Right, we're going for a test to see if it works. Uh, oh. Makes noise. Oh. Oh, buddy. Whoa, you work good. Oh, you might have a you might have a plug there. Nice. Sweet. 
<coughs> Good enough. All right, let's uh, let's drop the subframe out of the P5 here. One bolt left. One bolt. Ready? Get all balance. Uh, just watch yourself. Just back up. Yeah. Let's do this thing. It's a very well balanced machine. This thing. And now I should just be able to lower this, and this should Where's just puppy? Oh, no, she's right. good. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. Well, what's yeah. going on there? Big scooter. Who's there, Freighters? Get him. What the fuck's the hold up on this? Holy fuck. fuck. It's Tom! The foreman is here. Watch out. How's it going, buddy? Speaking of it. Right? If everything is upside down, let's put the rover upside down. And we've got Al. Al just moved in, so we have a double decker. <laughs> Old London bus welding rig set up here. Even in English. And uh, we're going to mount this up. I made this many years ago. Uh, a pr actually, you know what? I made this in Collins' barn many years ago. And now we're putting his car on it. Yeah, nice handy factory, super sturdy bumper brackets there. The car weighs, really, at this point, the car doesn't really weigh very much. So it's not going to have any trouble supporting itself on these small brackets. And then we're going to put X bracing in here. And then, uh, then we can start uh, hacking away. Hey, Braggers. What are we doing now? Okay, it's time to lift the rover onto the rotisserie, and then we'll have a look at the, uh, at the setup. And we've tied the four front body mounts together and welded a brace in there to stop that from going out of square. And uh, that's about all you really need. We have this very heavy duty axle here. Just got to get it parallel to that one at the other side. So we've just tied into the original bumper holes and uh, put a little brace across there to kind of, just, you know, give us something easy to weld to. And what do you think? Yeah. yeah Rover definitely on its side, and I'm really happy. I think we got the center line oh, actually nice. pretty damn close. Huh? Oh, should have done the dash this way. <laughs> oh yeah, I can even see. Standing in here, this is the. This is well, it's so nice when you got to do like cowls, and we'll probably have to do the limo like this. Almost exactly what we expected, really, and. There is a little sleeve in there, so that's good. Huh. Yeah, pretty localized, but fairly, you know, fairly complete. The rusting process is completed. <laughs> this is usually when you'll find some new and exciting damage you didn't know about. I it wasn't really aware of that damage, but there it is. A bit here. A little crunch down. Oh yeah, the jack point might have to be rebuilt. Well, nice floors. And pretty decent in here. All this stuff, what a treat. Usually this would be just crunchy little balls of mud. So 
that's actually not bad, not bad. Um, wheel tubs. Jack points at the front. Fair, yeah, fair to good. Yeah, it's very likely. But that's not a big deal. If you look at any number of American unibodies, it's not really that different. What else did we discover from looking at the top, Al? Anything? I'm just cleaning it because it's easier when it's on side. Some dirt off her. I don't like the roof down. Oh, yeah. Did you find any dents? No. Oh. Yeah, that's distant. No, I lied. The Big roof. Surprise. Big surprise. Uh, everything's just nicer when you can just stand here at eye level and work on it. Yeah, I gotta get some water, make some tea, I think. Tea time. Like I've sure. finished you know. a joint and then been like, I should roll the joint. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> oh, those are good days. Chops off, General. <laughs> so, what time's the old paddle wheeler come by? <laughs> Five every morning. Tell us about the uh, the sweet new uh, classic darts lamp. Well, I don't know. Assumedly, what sixties vintage? I guess I would say. Yeah, I would say. Lovely construction. Maybe spun aluminum disc. This here, you can see the spin marks on it. Yeah. That's aluminum. And white inside, and almost Wimbledon white. Hey. Oh, I would, I would, my mind goes to Old English White. Old English White, it would, yes. One, yeah. Yeah. Uh, interesting, the chrome spring. I don't know, is it chrome? It chrome? I don't think it is. That's not, not chrome. Nickel? Okay, it's nickel. Fine. Huh? Wouldn't you say? Well, it used to be plated then, Professor. Jeez. Well, I mean, are we it fucking was... analyzing things or aren't we, Scott? Well, I don't That's know. the real I question. Guess... What are we doing here? I would think cheap chrome suited the bill. Sorry, I forgot you did do your PhD on the bottom of this lamp here, and I should not have questioned, <laughs> because obviously you spent a lot of more time researching it than me. What about the curly little legs on the bottom there? Those are a cute asset, aren't they? Hey. Nice. Makes it a bit tippy when you, because it's articulatable. If that's a word. Yeah. Like, how many times have you thought, if this lamp was an ashtray, that's right. it wouldn't be just like so in the way, it would be useful. It's so much better when things serve multiple purposes. Right? Yeah. Still runners? Yeah. Yeah. And Justin taking last week's, last month's. If anything, episode. I think we're on like the same pit crew. You know what I mean? It's hardly a competition. Right? It's, mm -hmm. We're all part of the classic darts family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leave us a like on the video if you guys think that we should put some classic dart shirts together. Al, uh... What's that? Classic dart shirts. Oh, yeah, as long as they're pretty... Al wants them to be classy, though. It's something that reflects what we got going on here. Right. Just, just in time for not Christmas, but <laughs> just in time for Valentine's Day. <laughs> get your... Like these, these right? Shirts, get your honey, darts, the classic like. darts. Al's going to design the shirt. I'm going right to design now. it up here quick. Okay. Something like that. That's not bad. Just carnage. Yeah, yeah. Two, Two are darts. With we some... could clean the ashtray out. We gotta get it like, <laughs> like that. <laughs> how, much, how much time do you think we got? Do we have anything new to debut other than the oh. lamp on this week? Have you guys not seen what came? I have a look at this stuff. Ooh. You guys remember flat fifties? No, because you're not eighty-four no, years old. I don't old, remember but these, but I've seen the packages. They're cigarettes so in packs of fifty. Yeah, I wish. Oh, oh, there's. Oh, there's goodies oh, in it. Oh, what do you think? This is from window wiper knob. That's not anything to do with smoking, but it's a nice piece. It's a nice piece. Oh. This stuff is crazy. Oh. Oh, look know. at those matches. Sweet. Oh, oh no, matches. We're white. That's for Christmas. That's your Christmas matches. Sweet. Put those with that. That is awesome. And. Uh, Alan Parsons Project. What a picture. Yeah. That's going up 
put that on the wall. Put that on the okay. Renault. On the back. Put it on the Renault. <laughs> That's amazing. Put that on the Renault. That's like, I think, about 1981. That's perfect. That's so cool. That's perfect for the Renault. And tissue, in case your local store runs out. <laughs> yeah, which might Same. happen. Yeah, that's right. Sweet picture of it. Oh, that's wicked. That's a 41 Chevy. I love destruction. It's 41 Chevys. <laughs> it's the best. Nobody's going to believe that your Christmas episode is sincere, Mr. Destruction. <laughs> These. Okay. Oh, oh, more for the holidays. Season's oh. greetings. Look at this. Oh, these are This sweet. is fantastic. Oh. Whoa. 41 Continental, that's sweet. What does it say down on that? Dollar wise spring paint. That's a neat. Nice true browser. That yeah, gives us something to build, I guess. Yeah, it's nice. Good blueprint. Where you go from that? I was just reading in a book sent in. That was uh, Von Dutch did the first ones. That doesn't impress me much. No, not much does. I guess it, the Queen did it. Oh, nice. The Queen oh, had a little oh, stripe. Wow. Oh, she used to do a little striping. We'll have to put those up. Some light bulbs. A little couple of light bulbs. I think it's light bulbs. It is light bulbs. Yeah, that one's missing. Bit of a jip. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a jip, yeah. I paid for zero. I only got seven. <laughs> On top of it all, a Watch pair, a pair layers. of lighters. One of which appears to be in a box, still with the instructions and everything. One could presume. Here's Brand some more toilet new. paper for the house. Like Al never wanted to grow with the show. He just wanted it to be about he good time. He just wanted to fuck around. He just wanted to party. Yeah, I'm not sure at what point it got too serious for Al. <laughs> it all just became about the business. Buy a classic dart shirt when they come out and help Al buy a windshield for his Granada. <laughs> Al's is the most sincere yeah. ask in history. Eh? Like, dear oh. Santa, that'll be the Christmas. Yeah. Dear Santa. Please buy Al a windshield for his Granada so it doesn't sit at Jim's forever and make Jim sad when he has to plow his driveway around it. <laughs> no, that's the truck box. Oh, right. the truck box. Did you? <laughs> it's still there. Oh, that's funny. Lindsay was going to decorate it. Well, it's because we came out of Keith Schneider, it. buddy, thank you so much for the classic darts uh, gift box. The empire is just growing. Ah, uh, the wrecked car is from a tornado. Oh, very cool. Kaiser Aluminum, written on the bottom of the box. Did you guys see that? No. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, look at that. I wonder if it's the same Kaiser. It says... I wonder. We'll have to check it out. Great tunes on the show. Thank you, Keith. You guys, yeah, Frankers. You know I like writing music for the show because it only has to be 30 seconds long and you're like, well, that idea is kind of getting old. I'm just going to fade that out. Hey, no bridge to write. No, that's why I like doing music for the show. So, look at all the goodies. The harmonic cats. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh, yeah, is that your old band? Yeah, right. I'm the guy on the top. Hmm? Who's this? This is, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's probably what this is about. <laughs> Some anonymous <laughs> tonight's episode. Uh, yeah, tonight's brought episode to you is brought to you by Van Breckel. That's what it says there. Van Breckel. Cool. <laughs> That's so Man. cool. Yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with the. If anybody knows him, Van Breckel, give him a shout. Give him a shout and say, "Man, thanks so much." <laughs> thanks a thanks lot. Thanks for being on the show tonight. <laughs> thanks a lot, Van. Tonight. Some guitar picks for you, Scott. Hey, sweet. You got all that. Oh yeah. Go now write some now music. I'm just gonna. Go write some more tunes for the show. Oh, and I guess this should go on your amp or something. Those are very cool. Thanks, that one's Keith. really nice. Oops, I'll put that over here. It's hardly been used. It's still got a wick in it. I think she'll come right to life. It just needs a flint. But everything else is there. Nice. Those will go to a good home. Oh, there's some classic darts here? Yeah. Oh, really? Well, a guy gets bored smoking these new government-mandated the government smokes. Darts. And this was the thing, I think 
tonight's darts everybody probably smoked at one time, right? Because these are, are some weird darts, right? This is all going to go end in tears. Like no, it's going to be wonderful. It's You're just a end. pessimist. You just love being a pessimist. Right. You love being right. Yeah, good point. <laughs> that has now become a load-bearing poster. Demorier king size. American packaging, probably late 60s. Part of a huge and extremely generous donation. Yep, looking forward to it. Haven't had a Demorier in a while. I found yeah, these in the yeah. in the '57 uh, Dodge. Exceptionally weathered. Looking. Probably early '70s. Jeepers! Let's go after it. No, I really. It's got that, that. It's got that like old car smell. Yeah, it's straight from 1970. Oh, Did you get one going? It's, okay, it's, here's tonight's out. race. The whole thing fell apart. Same matches, same car. Oh, Al's close. Oh, he's going. Al takes the matches. Ah. Oh. I'm pretty impressed those matches are 50 years old. A little dry. What do you guys think? Dry. 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 Oh. They're dry. Dry, the but... Mostly old car smell too. <laughs> First impressions, dry and mousy. Man, are you like at a librarian convention? These aren't great. Yeah. Not great? Unlike the usual classic darts, which are usually awesome. They're usually very good, yeah. It's right there. So, powering through though, hey? Mm. Does it get better? Mm. I don't know about better. No? You just toughen it up? Yeah. I mean, it's not really bothering me. He's no, the smell was worse than the fucking yeah. taste of the cigarette. God, Ooh. even from here, those things, eh? Like, man, that's a rich, <laughs> that's a rich smell of Old tobacco. Darts. Wow, it's crazy. It's like time machine. The smell. So, it's what like are they this time? Demorier king size. Uh, yeah. Of course, they're kings. <laughs> that's low key this week here. Not a lot to say, right? Yeah. A lot no. of things being said these days. Sometimes you just gotta. Not say much. Sometimes the only thing you can do is not say anything. Mm. Especially they when they make sense. actually saying things against the law. Right. <laughs> that makes things tough. Makes it tough to actually have a real conversation about anything. So, thoughts? Not the worst, I guess. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, I guess the best so far. I'd be like a three, I think. Three? Wow, yeah. that is better than. I like the triple fives. They were better. Yeah. Three, three fives, London. Yeah, those you gave like a five. I probably scored them too low, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have given them more credit. I'd like to move the score on those up to a nine. Wow, that's generous. And then I'd like to take these, and I'd like to put them at about a four, five. Yeah. Nothing offensive about Not... the Demori, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The smell is what put a guy off on these. Yeah, yeah, they're, yeah, they're pretty rich, I have to say, as a second-hand smoker only. Take a uh, sniff of that pack. Quite, quite rich. Yeah. I can't smell anything, you guys. Like, <laughs> I, I, all I smell is cigarettes. Like, that's all I can smell. My clothes probably wow. smell like 1977 now. I have to say, those were really a treat. That just takes you back to like riding around in the car with your parents, <laughs> and just the except in my case it was it was these guys, the smell of these. Those are nice. That was the smell of the '69 nice. Dodge. Tonight's show brought to you by Westfair Products. We'll see you next week, and remember to close the cover. Always close the cover. Always guys. close. Keep the cover very close. Oh, look, there's an old roach here that can fucking use Probably. some love. Okay, so here's a quick update on Project Boogie Van. Pretty much have most of it put together. Still missing a few pieces. We've got the side windows in. I found a good new set of mirrors from a local van enthusiast. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate you selling me those. 
Put the emblems on, the door handles. Put the bubble windows in. Took a bit to figure out how to get those to fit nice. But I think we achieved it. Still waiting on the rubbers to keep the Lexan portion of the window in place. Got the back pretty much all buttoned up. I have to thank Marlon Reed for allowing me to buy these pop-out windows from him. They're very hard to come by and they were in excellent shape. Still have lots of work to do on the inside, but it'll get done, slow and steady. We can get on to other projects. So there you go. There's your van update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Christmas must be coming now. Al's in the workshop. Stephen passed his, uh, well, we're assuming he passed. Stephen finished his apprenticeship and his, yeah, whatever they do, whatever you gotta do to get your ticket, Stephen got his ticket. So, wow. We're making him the honorary shitty fill uh, classic darts edition transparent handle screwdriver for his toolbox. This is it's sweet. Working. More. It's going, yeah. it's, look at it, it's sinking in great. Yeah, I, this is wonderful. I think that Al has over, over packed it with darts. I think mostly. Scott's a pessimist. Oh, you know what this just gives me an idea for? All sorts of things, probably. Look at how straight that is. It. Yeah, nice, nice job there. Al made the uh, mold for today's classic darts edition shitty fill. Doing some Dean camera work there. Oh, I fucking the said it's impossible to do. I'm not, I'm not a fucking camera guy. The shitty fill screwdriver of infamy coming together. We're in the. Uh, curing phase. He's confident. confident. Extremely confident. But a bit agitated. Yeah. Which is just fine, of course. This thing's really hot. Look at it's melting the tape. Put a lot of hardener in that. Here it comes. Oh, it looks amazing. That's fucking exactly it. It looks wanted. amazing. Oh, okay. Oh, this is sweet. Hey, oh, oh, there's an oh a little bit of a bubble, see? That's all right. A void, yeah. if you will. Yeah, it might take this oh, into more of a... looks so nice. There she is, out of the mold. That looks awesome. Things are getting serious now. Oh, quality check, right? Let's hit it. Oh, dude, it's perfect. That's nice. It's got a it's good taper. It just looks just like a hammer handle. Four and a half hours later. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Consume. Consume the vision. Yeah, a little bit of a blowout at the oh, back. Sorry, you can put some Bondo in it. Uh, okay, so yeah. polishing time, eh? Yeah. Well, I know which one I'm taking home from the hardware store. Well, we hope Stephen will use the shitty fill with pride and remember the shitty people that gave it to him. That's a great material to use. There's yeah. so many of them everywhere. They're everywhere. What a great way. It's environmentally conscious, too. Like, next time you sweep up 20 or 30 butts when your friends And I'm work. certain that's strong enough because that handles all the way down oh, to here. For uh, finishing school. Oh, is that what this yeah, is? Yeah, it's your... Uh, yeah, it's your welcome to the real world. Oh, yes. Open here. Yeah. Lift upward. Right, little top. pull handle. Oh, is that what that is? Oh, yeah. But... Or is that just lift oh, upward? Either way. Oh, no, it's a pull handle. Darts. <laughs>
I don't even you know. You have what to this figure is. it out what it is. Oh, I see darts. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's the ultimate shitty fill. I see. Oh my god. Yeah, look at that. Thing. Right. Right. Oh yeah. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best thing. Like you're gonna use it, right? Oh yeah. But like, would someone had to make this? Oh yeah, somebody. Yeah, like, this yeah. is crafty. Me and Al made that. Yeah. <laughs> we made that last night. Yeah. So where, so where do you get this then? Where do you get the shitty fill? Oh, oh I found it. That garbage yeah. pail. It was in a pail of bolts I was putting away. Oh my god, though, it's like it's so bad. Yeah, it's know. the worst. It's like cigarette butts in toilet water. Anyway, that's the classic darts fucking the classic congratulatory darts shitty achievement fill. shitty fill First award. Made tool. Yeah. We were just checking out this uh, exhaust bracket. I don't think you'd see this today, hey? What do we count? 10? 10, 10 bolts? Uh, 10 nuts? 20 washers? 3 different pieces? 4 pieces of rubber, at least? That's just one exhaust hanger. Spare tire carrier? That's, Look at that. That's a that is nice a f detail. like a 50 pound piece mm -hmm. just to carry the spare. This was a little heavier than we thought. We just had a few guys and we just humped it up here. but. Off Hit me. For you. Oh yeah, data yeah. plates. Screws are almost off and then you can have a look. Alright, okay. here it comes. Nice. Plate one. Plate number one. We'll have to see what this means. Somebody can help us figure it out. Nice. Oh. It's got a nine There's also a an two. L, which I would say is for left hand. I don't know anything, but I'm just guessing. 2374L. And then it looks like an X through an S. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe that's supercharged. <laughs> right? That's, that means supercharged. Oh, hey. How's it working out? Oh. nice. It's coming off surprisingly oh, yeah, it's clean. All, it's all so dry, it just flakes off. Yeah, there wasn't much percentage in trying to not take it off, I guess, eh? No. So probably most of it's gonna have to come off? Yeah. Uh-oh, okay, well, there you got your answer. Complete sill, at least on this side. You can see, once you get these things set up, very easy for one person to put the car wherever they want. We've got a pin to put a pin in it. Oops, put a pin in it there. Come on, Francine. Get out of the way, please. But hey. I want to watch the rover roll over. Roll over, rover. So, you see how easy it is when you get the car balanced. Very quickly and easily. Now, next uh, time you see this car, I'm cutting all this apart until it looks like one, two, three, four, four separate layers of good times there. Of course, the main cross member or the subframe mounts, this will have to go. Al was in here yesterday scraping, he's cleaned all this off already. Really good news everywhere, not everywhere I shouldn't say. Yeah, Bad it's... news for this entire inner. That's all garbage. Garbage here, broken there, bro you know, garbage. Same here. Yeah, ditto. Totally shot. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this is uh, that's the program. We'll be uh, hard at the welding by uh, by Monday. Once the welding's done, it's just a paint job. Mm -hmm. yep. What's in there, Vinny? What's in there? It's so exciting. What do you see? It's a fuel filter, Frankers. No. It's time to put on the exhaust. 
Al couldn't resist painting it because it looked so nice. So now it's got a very unrealistic coat of gloss <laughs> aluminum or something on it. Anyway, that'll burn off pretty quick. Nevertheless, it looks sweet. Well, let's hammer it up there. Uh, you're gonna see what's left of the original hangers and it's, I don't know, there's a lot of shit. This is gonna, it's probably one more of those things I think is gonna be easy, but it's not. So that's where we're gonna leave the winter beater for this week. Uh, we are very close. Uh, I've got reverse lights, uh, license plate light to figure out. Al has donated some, i will show you. Where are they? So this is what we had before, which is decomposed, broken plastic. Uh, presumably not obtainable. And Al is donating some aftermarket mini Barker lights, which we'll just wire up to work. And uh, yeah, they look fine. And this is, uh, if someday I find the correct ones, we're not modifying anything that I couldn't put back. So that's next. The list here is getting short. The exhaust, oop, let's have a look. Exhaust is on and looks great. Fit really well, of course it would, because it's not uh, homemade, it's actually a correct piece. All of that, half of the car, the muffler is old, but there are no holes in it, so I'm gonna just run it. Uh, this is where I'm gonna mount the reverse lights, we'll mount some license plate lights, and uh, then that is ready to go. I'm looking for one of these. Should say Renault 5 on it. I need a rear view mirror. What else is on the list? Uh, oh, I gotta change the fuel line. I'm gonna replace the rear brake hoses as well. Uh, but we're getting there. Knocked off a few things, that's for sure. Okay, we're gonna get back at it and we'll see you guys as soon as we can. This is a regular ah, contributor. Same old shit. <laughs>